general instructions for the flight since we're talking about the flight. Generally, what we need you to be, we need you to be well hydrated. We need to be, we need you to be moving all the, all the time, all around, because those are the two main risk factors for a blood clot. Right? Flying is, is one of the, is the third. Right? Because with flying, you're dehydrated and you're not moving. Right? So what we need you to do is uh, keep well hydrated from the day before the flight. Obviously, every day, we want, but especially and specifically one day before, on the day of your flight, and the, the, the following day, mm -hmm. all right? And then and thereafter, but those are the three important days around uh, your flight. We give you the blood shots, so the blood thinner shots, so those would also make your blood thinner, so decrease the instance of shots, of, of uh, clots. Uh, during your flight, there are so many exercises you can do. I always give you the simple example of the foot pump. There are so many uh, other exercises you can just on YouTube, there are so many videos. Our, our group, we just, Dr. Nayera ju just uh, shared the video. I loved it, so you can do all of that. But generally, I don't want you to be sitting more than 20 minutes in, on each flight, all right? So I want you to stand up, sit on, uh, first choose an aisle, aisle seat, and keep walking every 20 minutes. And when you're sitting, do the foot pumps or whatever exercise you want, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so, these are, um, in here, each of, and every one of you had uh, the discharge summary, what you did, the uh, instruction list, generally what you're gonna, how you're gonna drink, how you're gonna uh, uh, have your medications, and the third paper is the prescription list, okay? So each day you're not in the hospital, we would give you a shot. We actually, uh, each, each one will take one of those bags, those are the discharge medications. Uh, so, like you're leaving today, mm -hmm. and you might be leaving today, so today you don't take a shot because you take it here before you leave the hospital. So, the, the next day we'll give you the shot. The blood thinner shot has to be kept in a cool place, so best place in the fridge. Uh, you can take it one day at the same time, exact time that you took it here the day before. So we want to keep that uh, planned, well planned, right? And when you get there, uh, you'll get the shot. So uh, the first thing is the and everything here labeled is is labeled on the on the box itself in English and in Arabic of course. So the first thing is the is the augmentant which is the antibiotic. All right. So here this is your antibiotic. So you got to stay on it. Take one large spoon every uh, every eight hours, and you stay on it for five days. Okay. Then we go to the anti-acid pill. This is the Protofix. All right. So you're gonna right you have it at, as Pantolog. Yeah. So yours is Pantolog. It's the same, uh, different brands only. Mm -hmm. 40 milligram, uh, you take one tablet per day, and I want you to stay on it for a month, okay? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, the painkiller, which is this one over here. This is uh, regular uh, analgesics. Yeah. Are you guys in pain? No. A little bit, yeah. all right? You are? No. Yeah. So this is your future, all right? This is how, you, how you, uh, you're gonna be tomorrow, hopefully, all right? So, this is just, you know, to keep it around if you're in pain. Can you get pain? Usually not. But um, uh, sometimes later on, you might feel like a bruising pain here, especially at this side. This is where we take the stomach out. So this is normal. With time, it gets better. All right. What's next after that? This Sensibite. is the Sensibite. Yeah. This is the multivitamin. This is um, uh, liquid form. We want you to be on the liquid form in the first couple of days. Uh, you take one large spoon every eight hours. Okay? All right. So this is the multivitamin. But this is not the multivitamin you're going to continue on. This is just for the first 10 days. Liquid form, easy to swallow. It's too sweet a little bit. They hate me for it, but you know this is the best mm -hmm. one. Right? So no, please don't hate me. Um, the Clexan, which is the blood shot, blood thinner shot. This is the one. Before you leave, we'll, show, we'll tell the nurses to show you how to take it. It's very simple. You saw it, obviously. Right? You're gonna, you can give it to yourself here or, or in the shoulder. Definitely, if you're going to give it to yourself, uh, better in the lower part of your belly, away from the bikini line, away, don't, don't get it next to the scar. For you, it doesn't matter because she had the bikini sleeve. Same, same for you. Uh, unless mom will help, then she can give it in the show. She will take it, right? Okay. Uh, the following is, is not included here because this is the type of vitamins that you're going to take later okay. on, all right? So once that's, that's finished, you, can, you have the option to take any multivitamin you want. And you can always text me and ask me which one 
But this is our recommendation, which is Centrum A to Zinc. But there are so many other brands, liquid form, uh, chewable ones. Don't take the gelatin ones, you know, like the, the gummy bears. No, we don't want them. Uh, there are patches, still not tested, so I cannot. Uh, uh, they call patch MD, so I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend because we don't have any research on them. They, they sound great, but I don't like them. I, I, I need to see the research first. Yeah. Then there is the vitamin B12 shots. You take four shots. You're going to take once per month after three months. Okay, so just finish the first three months after the period, and then go to your GP, ask for once uh, per month. Is that ongoing then? Uh, no, just uh, four shots. Four, okay. Total four shots. And then we're going to do a set of labs. Based on those labs, we're going to modify, add, or, uh, get, uh, or remove. Okay. Then there's the calcium and vitamin D. Our recommendation is this uh, vitamin D by Dal 50,000. Uh, it's optional. We're going to discuss that. It's based, uh, uh, some, some centers give it routine. I think you have enough, right? Too much medications. I want you to stick to the, the important stuff, which is the multivitamin. Based on different characteristics, we add or remove any other uh, uh, drug. Uh, there are so many other stuff, like the omega, omega-3, mm -hmm. the, uh, the biotin for the hair fall. Mm -hmm. Again, you give me the symptoms, I give you the drug. You, gi you give me the labs, I give you what you can take. Yeah. I like that. I don't like to be over-giving anyways. It doesn't make any sense. We do that more with the bypass. Steve is, is a little bit, you know, don't take it easy, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's not as complicated as the bypass. All right? Um, this has to be cool all the time. So what we're going to do is, uh, for people staying, we want to keep it in the fridge with the nurses, but please don't forget to take it when you go. Okay. Okay. What about sports stockings? Stockings. Oh yeah, because I've got some. All right. So yeah, we were just discussing <coughs> this with the, with Mayor and the, and the team yesterday. What, what's the best plan for the plan? What I've what I've just said. Stockings well, are welcome. You know, I don't think they do a, a great deal. Uh, basically, what the stocking is doing is, is avoiding the blood from pooling down here. Yeah. All right. So if you're going to be doing the foot pumps and walking around, then you're pumping. All right. So do yeah, use them. I don't, I don't mind. Which, what kind of stocking? The, the long ones or yeah. the special ones? Yeah. All, right. All right. Yeah. Sure. No problem. It, it, anything that doesn't harm, I don't. I don't mind. Okay. What else? Any questions? You definitely have questions. Mm -hmm. But memory erased, and I know we'll get them later on. But anyways, if you have. Tell me now, if not, you can always text me. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, you know, my uvula, mm -hmm. it's quite long and sore. Um, How do you know that? Because I can feel it. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's never that. The thing is what you're feeling is a sort of, why? Because we use different tubes to go inside. Uh, 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 but so it will go away, right? It will, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, this is, this is the bottom one. so basically you have a sore throat. Why? Because the tube's coming in and out. And this is a, a, so some people get it more than others. Uh, maybe you have a long view here, that's why. Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, it's going to go away. You can take a strep so okay. no problem with that. Hmm? Okay. Any other questions? No. Good. So when would you expect us to take the dressings off? So the dressings come off at 10 days. Okay. And how do we, like yeah. this one I just washed around it, is that normal? Just what is that? So this morning when I had my shower, uh -huh. I just No, no, we, we, before leaving the hospital, we make sure they're watertight. And they're waterproof, by the way. Before you leave, we're going to make sure that um, it's, it's clean and dry and everything, okay? And you, need, you don't need to change them until 10 days. Okay. Instructions are in the back. Okay. What you want to do, all right? So basically, uh, you're going to be on, on liquid diet for 10 days, yeah. all right? which is basically the eight cups. Eight cups of what? You can take two cups of water, two cups of warm drinks, any herb or drink you want. A avoid caffeine, no caffeine, all right? No. So anything can, you can have but decaf, all right? Two cups of sugar-free juice, two cups of skim milk. Minimize the sugar, if not, if you take it off, all right? So this is eight cups. Eight cups, you're going to drink very gradually, slowly, slowly, slowly. I'm telling you exactly because you're leaving. You guys started uh, yeah. uh, drinking, started right? Drink, yeah. All right, but for her, she's leaving, so she's ready. You need to reach the eight cups. Usually, not all people reach the eight cups, right? It takes a while. Uh, some people take it, start with three, four daily, and then gradually uh, go for the eight cups. So, but others go from the eight, uh, from the beginning. So it depends on, on how you tolerate it. Eight cups is the minimum. More is better. Anything you can add. 
Drink more water, more milk, whatever you like. Should drink very slowly. Take the cup over one to two hours, especially in the first couple of days, and then gradually you can take the cup over 15 minutes. So not a big deal. As I said, three to four cups is sometimes hard, you know, uh, eight cups is sometimes hard. So some people take the three to four cups and gradually increase. When do you stop? You stop when you feel full, relax, take it easy. Remember yesterday I was saying when you drink, use a spoon or sip, small sips, but never use a straw. Straw brings air inside your stomach and takes up a space, so we don't want that, right? So no straws. Uh, on day seven, you can introduce some soup, broth, clear soup. Any broth is okay, no problem. But not the, any soup, or regular soup at home and just strain the contents, right? Painkillers, as I said, when needed. Mostly people take one, two, maximum three over the next 10 days. So we, we, get, we, we gave you some more, but you know, don't, doesn't mean I gave you that. Depends. One patient once finished all of that, she, said, she thought she had to be on it daily. No, <laughs> no please. Because this is not good for your stomach. No. Right? Yeah. You, you all know that. And it's okay to swallow them? Yeah, yeah. So obviously, mo you see, most of, the, uh, most of the drugs are liquid form. When every, not everything is in liquid form, or at least some of it is not available here. And internationally, mm -hmm. not all the, we, they cannot make everything with good forms. But those are really tiny things. When we chose the brand, we chose, or the type of drug, we chose a smaller uh, if you If you feel uh, any pain, any fever, any, any sharp pain going to your back, to your shoulder, uh, you're generally going to feel really bad, you know? This is what you call. And I don't mind even if, if it's something simple, just text me. It's better safe than obviously. Okay, so if you have any weird symptoms, just text me. I'll I'll, I'll tell you what to do. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's that covers everything. Still have questions? You can shower on, on those dressings. It's okay. okay. Um, if 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 they get wet, if they get detached, if they uh, you sweat under them, you can always change the dressing. And you can do it at home. Yeah. You know, this is very, they, they already, uh, you can buy them online, the dressing packs. You can just take it out, put it in. They stay in for 10 days. 10 days, that you take them off. Send me pictures of your wounds, and uh, I tell you, they read well. They're all done uh, uh, in a technique that you don't need anything to be removed. No staples. Mm -hmm. They're absorbable ones, specially designed to uh, go away, take away. This is a good question. If you have a good uh, uh, cleaner, we use, usually we use here the betadine. Uh, you can use it, but you know, if you have it and it's available, do it. Right? But this, I mean, by three to five days, it's, they're almost healed. Ten days, they're completely healed. So it's not going to do anything. Else. The reason we're covering them is, is so they don't soak or get attached to your, uh, to your, uh, to your clothes. They're generally what we call a clean wound, right? Mm -hmm. What else? All right. I'm really happy. Hope you guys are happy. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck on your journey. It's, it's, uh, obviously, if you haven't noticed, it's already started. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Wish you all the luck. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you.